2851, turn right, heading 183. The Boeing 737 MAX has faced yet another major setback in its hopes to return to the skies following electrical problems that have now left over 100 units grounded worldwide. In turn, a quarter now of the total 737 MAX fleet have been grounded, and according to an exclusive new report by Reuters, US air safety officials are now asking Boeing directly to provide them with the documentation and also analysis showing that the 737 MAX subsystems would not be impacted by the electrical issues that have hurt the type. For the Boeing 737 MAX though, things began to look on the up at the turn of the calendar year. However, since deliveries resumed and regulators began certifying the type, it has been a downward spiral that is now asking serious questions over whether or not the 737 MAX will ever be safe, or at this point, if it's time to just accept that the aircraft is always going to have continuous problems and never have a lengthy period where it is completely in the clear. Originally for carriers within the United States, it was expected the units affected would return to service sooner rather than later, with the appropriate documentation necessary for a fix and return to eventual service being placed this week. Now though, with the report from Reuters noting there's additional setbacks, that timeline will be pushed back. It's worth noting that originally this problem was focused on just a couple dozen aircraft, then the problem mothballed to over 100, and now it has been multiple weeks with the electrical issues present severely impacting fleets around the world, but with a key focus on newly produced 737 MAX aircraft, which just so happens to have a central focus on the United States operators of the aircraft like that of American Airlines, United and Southwest. Also, we have Air Canada naturally within Canada. For Boeing, they have now suspended deliveries for the 737 MAX, with the issue first being found in April, and then with further inspections, the same electrical fault being found in a further two locations on the flight deck, very close to the pilots. It's a dangerous problem, like anything on an aircraft, and needs to be fixed as soon as possible before something happens to the plane in the skies. Ultimately for Boeing, these countless problems will see certification for future aircraft more heavily scrutinized by regulators worldwide, adding time and delays to the overall introduction of new types. The perfect example of that will be the up-and-coming Boeing 777X, which has already been struggling to get certified, and thanks to various problems, not just with the aircraft itself, but also the engines, it's having to go back to the drawing board and have these problems ironed out, preventing it from meeting its original delivery date, which was actually last year, back in 2020. The delivery has now slipped three to four years past its original expectations. What are your thoughts though on this new major setback for the Boeing 737 MAX? When do you see it returning to the skies? Naturally, there is now no estimate on when all this will be sorted, but it feels like with every passing week, something new comes with the 737 MAX and I'd argue every week, it just continues to get worse and worse. First, the problem was found, then we saw the grounding, then we saw it mothballing, and now we're seeing another issue, which is meaning the aircraft cannot return to the skies as quickly as Boeing and also operators would like. With that being said, thank you very much for tuning into this video. I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit different. I have indeed lost it. It should be back in the upcoming videos. Take care and be safe.